All right, here we are. Can you feel the love tonight? What's that game called? Bocce? Where you throw the big heavy balls? That's what it sounds like a love It does, ass. it does. <laughs> I have that stuck in my head because of the title of this. And then I also have... In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Hey, hey. Hi. <laughs> oh, man. Hi, All guys. Those weekly people are going to be like, we're out. Three second view from you now, did we? <laughs> it's fine. We're the queens of three second views. <laughs> well, they didn't like us today. Uh, it's it's fine. fine. <laughs> I'm not too heartbroken. I'm a little sad. Can you tell? Oh my god, we've been so in sync today. It's not even funny. We were like momming um, Penny together. Right? It was Penny. Yeah. And yeah. She was, the eyeballs. Ooh, oh, they were so ugly. It was, it was unreal tonight. Anyways. We were both saying the same exact thing at the same exact time. And it was like, we're just, anyways. Hi, guys. She felt like she was ganged up again. I know. It was just like, we, we're we we're on the same wavelength here. I don't know, understand what you don't get, but it's like two against one here. Mm. All right, guys. Hi. My name's Lauren. This is Sarah. I'm Sarah. We're your favorite sisters in Poppy Boutique. In case you're wondering who we were just talking about, it was my second child. I have three. I have two girls. She's my oldest girl. So, moms of girls. What's, is it, wait, wait, it's this one, right? Two fingers? Is that what we do for yeah. Hunger Games? And then it's three fingers for the cup. Like, you know, when liquor measuring. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, two fingers weren't in this together. Uh, three fingers is how much liquor you can put in your cup. So, anyways, hi. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. Welcome to Poppy Boutique. If you're new to us, go ahead and say hi. Introduce yourselves. If you're not new to us, go ahead and say hi to the new kids in the class. Uh, this is Judgment-Free Zone, so feel free to participate, chit-chat. Uh, what we do is we show products that we like. And we do... Like, we call ourselves a lifestyle boutique, so we kind of run the gamut, but we do kind of focus our attention to home decor, all things events and entertaining, but if we like it, we share it, and that's just how we roll. So we show products. The products correspond to the number at the top of the screen. If it's something you want to put into your shopping cart, all you have to do is comment the word sold, and whatever the number is at the top of the screen, that will put it into your shopping cart. But it'll only work if you're registered. So, you do have to register to shop with mm -hmm. us. It's just some basic information. Once you're registered, you're good to go. You don't have to register right away. You could do it at the very end and still comment sold 100 or comment sold 102 purple right. kind of thing. Right. Every now and again, there's an indicator, just like Sarah alluded to here. Did you allude or did you just say? I just said. You just said. That's not an illusion. Or allu allu Is illusion the action of alluding? No. No. No, not at all. <laughs> it's like I'm um, suggesting. <laughs> Anyways. I forgot that this was a Christmas. I don't sorry. know. <laughs> uh, so anyways, uh, yes, there's indicators every now and again. A size, a color, a scent, hint, hint. Um, so all you have to, or a flavor, hint, hint. Um, so mm -hmm. all you have to do is put that after the number. So comment, you're going to comment the word sold, 100, blue. That's the way you do it. We do have an app you can download. Our app is just called Poppy Boutique. You can download it on any Apple or Android device. Just go to your app store. It's a free download. Uh, you can watch all of our lives this way, like this, the bot, through the bot, like this. But like sometimes we do lives that aren't through this bot. Um, those you won't see there. So you do want to be following us on Facebook. If you could go ahead and do us a huge favor and hit that little share button down at the bottom and let all your friends know what you're doing right now, we'd be forever grateful. So that's that. All right. Um, so I figured I'd start off on one little thing and not just jump in all the new stuff while we're building our room. Uh-huh. Because we are on at a very new time, so people are not we prepared We are. You're for not us. prepared for us. It's fine. All right. While well, she's doing that. I'm cracking open this uh, oh. salted caramel swirl. Is the flavor? Is that what we're both having today? 
I'm it's okay with you. I'm not going to say no to that one. You want salted caramel sure. We haven't tried it yet. We tried the other two. We tried the... What are the other ones? I had the white mocha last. And then I had the cinnamon vanilla. They were both delicious. And both very delicious. subtle, not in your face. So now we're trying the salted caramel. I'm going to put this over here. These are sugar-free, calorie-free, um, skinny coffee syrups. Or so. as I had labeled it in the system, guilt-free. <laughs> guilt-free. Yes, which is what we like. We like having like... Is this almond milk? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they already have almond milk in them. Um, so, I... I just need to know because I count calories. <laughs> doesn't almond milk... Does it, ha it has protein in it, right? Yeah. But all milk has protein in yeah. it. So that way I know to log it later. Alright. So, who's there. Yeah. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Are you alive? Sure aren't. We just down here talking to ourselves. Like, I tried so hard, man. It's all right. Here, cheers. That was tasty. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. I like that. Okay. Mom used to call those moments. Do you remember that? Yes. Yes. All right. This guy is new to our boutique. We showed it our last live. That was the first time that we showed it. This is our dirty and clean um, spinny sign here. Because it spins. It spins. It's on a thing. Look. Spindle. Spindle. Oh, Words. No. It's Words with friends. Okay, anywho. If you're any... That's my dog. I think Lucy uh, is winning right now. She has her bone. It's literally right here. So, in case you're wondering. That's my dog. She's a so labradoodle. So, you look at the sky, that's why. Because God was calling. You know, they do not make enough alcohol in the world for this house sometimes. You know, it, it was a day in your house. It's been a month. I went to go take out the dog, and Lauren stopped me to ask a question. So, I'm like standing there very loosely. The dog takes off. The leash comes right out of my hand. Now, we're running down the street chasing the dog. Her this... leash is chasing her. <laughs> So then she starts running even faster. I I caught her. I was running and I was like, she don't go for the dog. The go for the line. So I just, I like did it. And then of course I slid a little bit because the grass was like a little bit wet and whatever. And I like slid. And I was like, hi, Miss Patricia. How you doing? Hey, today, Patricia. Girl? All the way in Michigan. They got the same kind of weather we do there. Yeah. It's like we're. So they're seeing the leaves change and... Don't we also stuff. have similar accents to, like, the Northwest people? Uh, Michigan, maybe. Uh, Wisconsin. Oh, no. You betcha. We don't have do that. It. We don't have, have that. It. We don't have that. The Ope? No, we don't have that. We don't have that. But, like, like... Scott doesn't either, and he's from there. But, like, people don't guess that we're from New York, typically, because we don't have, like, the New York... Um, so when I worked in Las Vegas, people made fun of specific words like egg and hot dog, um, <laughs> which sound normal to us. It does. Like Wegmans. Wegmans. It's actually Wegmans. It's but Wegmans. Even Danny Wegmans calls himself Wegmans. But we're so, like, nasally up here in Rochester. Yeah, we have harder vowels. We do. <laughs> <laughs> we don't say orange. Uh, we could just talk oh, forever. It's fine. Does. Yeah. Our family's from They're downstate. from downstate, so they're like orange and like they're gonna go with some coffee and gonna go take out the garbage and they're gonna you know, they're gonna Well, we have this one cousin, his name is Jonathan. And so we grew up thinking that's how you say Jonathan is Jonathan. And I can't tell you how many times like kids picked on us in school because we were like, Hey Jonathan. Not my name. Okay. I okay. tried. So, back to the story. If you're anything like me and cannot retain one of those handy dandy little handy dandy little magnets that you flip and it says clean or dirty on oh, your dishwasher, they end up in the dogs' kennels. Dogs, children, husbands. You know, you know what I'm saying. Anyways, it must be and garbage. you're looking for something that is practical and beautiful. This is your gal. Uh, it is made of metal. It is enamel. You know what you need when this is dog leash here? <laughs> With like an arrow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so cute. This anywhere you see the black, it's raised. So it's a little bit. It's um, what is this? Um, uh, embalmed. No, embalmed Embossed. is like. Is it? What? Is what it is this? When it's raised. <laughs> Debossed. Aunt Deb, are you here? Please help us. Mom's here. Mom might know. Mom, what what does it mean when the letters are raised? <laughs> Anyway, she's her it head is, off. I know, she's like, it's Big God. Brother, she may, not be, she's may not be listening, it's fine. You know, we're competing with Big Brother here. So, anyways, super cute, so clean, so classic, perfect for any style. This is Common Soul, Deboss. That's what, Mom is listening. Mom is listening. All right, Common Soul 100. It's like my mom multitasks with her media. She will be watching us on her thing and have her show over here. She's always been like that where she can multitask with conversation. Oh, that smells okay. so nice. So guess what we're showing next, Laura? What? The really exciting one. <gasps> you guys. It's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Where did the other bottle go? Oh, it's right here. Uh, yeah. I was moved it to take a picture and never put it back. Gotcha. So <clears throat> let's let's story time. We started our business in April of 2021. We have talked about this probably ever since we started the business. However, just could never figure out how to start it, what to do, that sort of thing. And so today, we well, it's been a little bit coming here. We have decided to pull together um, themed boxes where the contents are super cool, super fun, and different, and will change based on the various themes. This one's a very seasonal-ish box. This is a very seasonal-ish box. We call it the fall box. Because we're very original. <laughs> <laughs> so, in this beautiful fall box here. Oh, it's so good. It is so good. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, so, in this box, you will get this gourmet bourbon pecan popcorn. So delish. So good. You will get this really super cute dough bowl, which this is like relatively big. This isn't like they call it mini, but this is like what? I don't even know. You probably don't have the size. I don't have the size. You don't have the size. It's fine. Do you want to hear? Let me measure it. <laughs> measure with your elbow. Okay, so well, it's, it's like about eight inches by four. It's a pretty sizable piece. There. Yeah, eight inches by four. Is okay. Good. You also get. Have you? Does anybody else watch this on like TikTok here? <laughs> you get one of these. Um, they're the it's cof the coffee tumbler. The coffee tumbler, and says for the love of coffee. We put um paper, uh tissue paper in there so you could read it better, but it's totally clear. And it comes with the straw and the top, which the top has a little silicone piece that will keep it in place. So it's not going to just willy-nilly come off. It actually is taking a bit of effort, and I'm not going to do it because I don't want to drop my cup. Anywho, you will also get uh, one of these, um, their hand-poured Hollywood home and candle. This is crisp autumn morning, which is so, so nice. We've been burning this one in my house, and it's so funny because this was in my bathroom. And Penny opened up the bathroom and came out, and she's like, why does it smell so good in here? <laughs> I was in there. I was like, good question, Pen. <laughs> yeah. And then this is where you get a choice, okay? So we are offering Hey, this... Angela. Hey, Angela. So in this box, you have your choice. These are the skinny um, stirrups. They're zero calories, zero, zero sugar. So you have your choice of white chocolate pumpkin. Which is amazing. Super good. Or, this one's so fun, s'more. Again, these are zero calories, zero sugars. Each of these bottles holds 25 and a quarter um, fluid ounces. They also come with, just so you know, the little pump so that way you can... Uh, Hey D, how do you portion out? Hey D, so that way you can portion out how much you want in your cup. Again, this is our fall box. This is our very first themed box 
launch. It's an $80 value, and it could be yours for $62.95. Yeah. It's such a good, it's such a good piece here. Such a good set, I mean to say. Um, we're very proud of this. This is a great way for us to start off our theme boxes. And it's also such a great, like, gift idea, too. See, I figured you haven't been here because Mr. Blue Eyes has had some night games the past couple Sundays. <laughs> so, I totally get it. Yeah. <laughs> so, again, with this box, you just have to specify if you want s'more or pumpkin. Okay? These are very limited. Once they go, they go. Um, we won't be redoing these. We'll be moving on to the next box. Okay? So this is Common Sold 101, and then you have to specify if you want pumpkin or s'more. Yay! Great gifts and great way to treat yourself. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Well, let's say everything sounds great, but you just kind of want to start off with a little bit of some, something. Mm-hmm. What are we doing? The trio. I didn't realize I already had one of those down here. That's okay. It's okay. We'll probably bring another down on Sunday. So, we love this because, first off, you know that we've been testing these out. Because uh, coffee is our jam. Mm. Like, if there's, like, two things that we do well, it's coffee, coffee and tequila. tequila. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday was Taco Tuesday. <laughs> On um, National Taco, Taco Day. Day. And um, your girl went out. So this is our syrup trio. These are gourmet coffee, coffee syrups. The, again, these are from the Skinny Syrup line. They are zero calories, zero sugar. Each of these is 12.7 fluid ounce. So you get three at 12.7 fluid ounces. These are gonna be perfect as we head into the holiday season. You have guests coming over, you have your little Keurig set up, maybe you do a little coffee station, you have like your little pods, maybe, I don't know. Or some... if you're Brandy and you have an entire counter. Gosh, always. Like, she has like a really fancy espresso machine, like, so cool. So in this, you get vanilla, you get, Salted caramel. This one says salé. Does that mean swirl in French? Maybe in Italian. Mm. 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 Maybe in Italian. It's not Italian. And then you also get mocha. Hey These... Siri, what is swirl in French? In French, swirl is tourbillon. I don't think so. Couldn't be more wrong. Anyways, such a great hostess gift. If you, you know, like your coffee lovers or just have around the house, these are actually very delicious. Or like when and, you're doing like a white elephant thing. That's coming up. Yeah, it's a really good Faster price point. Faster than I like to admit. It's a very good price point. And also <laughs> like we love feeling like we're having a moment, like a treat with our coffee without feeling the guilt of it. So absolutely love these. Um, this is common sold 102 102 because I can't count and I don't know my numbers it's fine and you get all three in such a cute little kit here we were just talking about how we had like one of the worst math teachers growing up <laughs> she had her twice I had her once awful That's woman bad. <laughs> we blame her on why we can't math yeah mine was geometry so I don't know about that but I had her geometry and um She's probably watching me like, I had them in geometry. Math B. The shoe fits. I'm trying to be nice. But, uh, <laughs> look, the shoe fits, lady. That's really good. It is really good. I'm trying not to chug it. All right. All What's right. Next? So, you were just showing them the dark candles. Oh, guys. Just be careful. I love the one. I know, but. You need smell a vision. Okay. Get your nasals ready. Start whooping. So. Each of these, these are made in the USA. They're 100% soy. These are 8 ounces. They're hand poured. Um, such a great, these are, the smell. Like Hold the, on. People are going to want to, it's 70, ounce, 70 hour burn time. 100% soy and vegan non-GMO. There you go. Okay. 
So, so this when they one, called it bougie, they weren't kidding. It is bougie. Okay, so this one has more of like a floral note, but we talked about this last time, that it's like it's a sweet floral, at the same time. sweet, clean. I would compare this to like a gardenia pear scent. I wonder if it even tells us what the scents are, like what bougie uh, actually is. Okay, and then this I one, to be on if you're the spice lover. Are you ready for this? Yes. Refreshing blend of uh, fresh flowers and light coconut with a soothing musk of sandalwood base. <laughs> Did not get that. I um, do. I I see. That's probably why it smells so clean. Is that sandalwood? Yeah. Like it just here smell. It's so pretty. It's so good. So this one is the bougie, and then this one is our crisp autumn morning, which the smaller size comes in the box. Uh, this has, what does it have? What's, what are the notes of this? Let me get to that one. Yeah. It just happened to have bougie open. It's like a spicy autumn. I can even smell it through the wood. Oh wait, I probably shouldn't set it on a box. All right. That'd be bad. So the warm and inviting fragrance starts with top notes of cinnamon, citrus. Hmm. Try Chrysanthemum and the core of fragrance, the sweetest of the apples and berries combined with green leaves. <laughs> it's a hard word. I wish you luck. There's like 20 consonants in a row. Chrysanthemum, right? Chrysanthemum. <laughs> chrysanthemum. What's a chrysanthemum? Hey Siri. <laughs> what is a chrysanthemum? Chrysanthemums, sometimes called mums or chrysanthemums. Oh, mums. Oh, mums. Why didn't you just say that? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, these are really, really good. They smell you know, they're probably super delicious. It is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're like, this is why I can't stand watching these girls. <laughs> so they only get three seconds out of me. We just know what we like. Okay, that's just how, we, like, it's just like, Ooh, I really like that. So let me share it with my friends. I don't know what I like about it. See, this is why I struggled. I did last year, two years ago. Hey, Cheryl. How are you? Hey, Cheryl. So I think it might have been two years ago. I did like this service where you can create your own perfume scent. I I did it twice. I never liked I It just never came out the way I thought it would, right? I don't know what things are. I just know what I like. Did you lie on your test? Like no, I followed I go to the, the gym notes. regularly, kind of thing. No, no, no. <laughs> so I followed the notes. Like I plugged in my current um, perfume, and it pulled up the notes of my current perfume. Which, in case you're wondering, I love Fancy Love by Jessica Simpson. I've been wearing it ever since college. It's very hard to find now. I can only find it on Amazon. Love that scent. I love that, and I also love the Rose Body Spray. From Bath and Body, right? Bath and Body, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and, of course, they always discontinue my scents. I don't even know if I can get rose anymore. You know what my new one is? What? Gingham? From Bath I and have Body that Rose. one, too. It's just not the same. I have it on today. Well, not so much anymore. It's, like, worn off. <laughs> Anyways, I plugged that stuff in, right? Poorly. And I thought, this will help get the scent that I want. It did not. So... I don't really know what stuff is. Anyways. Because well, the, don't they do, like, the personality test? No. Well, maybe. I don't know. I forget. No. I like, everyone likes to think we're all outdoorsy. I am not. I pretend to be. Uh, like, the doctor, <laughs> she asked me recently, <laughs> um, are you physically active? And I said, I'm not going to lie. Oh. For the first time ever. Um, does shopping at Target count? <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, do you walk the whole store? And I said, absolutely. She goes, yes. Then shopping does. <laughs> I don't miss an aisle when I go. Do we hike in the wilderness? No. no. <laughs> Have I hiked in the wilderness? Yes. yes. Do I like You can it? get me to go, but it will not be willingly and it will not be easy. Yeah. I was just saying the other day, because people were talking about running and I'm like, God bless you. Like, I love that people love to run. Okay. I have short. tried to make myself love to run. And what I've decided is I just need to be able to run fast enough to get away from whatever it is that I need to get away from. Uh, you know what, with best efforts. You know, best effort is all I have. 
Well, I did. I went through this whole Otherwise. phase um, when I was moved back to Rochester and I was still living with my parents, where I decided I was going to train for a tough mutter, and it took two years of endurance training. And as we got closer to the tough mutter, I was physically able to run a half marathon. Did I want to? Absolutely not. Were they trying to convince me? Yes. They're like, hey, after this, I know what a great goal for you. <laughs> so I didn't enjoy running. I did it because I just decided. I literally woke up one day and I was like, I think I want to try this. See, my thing is, will I sit on a stationary bike and pedal? Yeah. Will I get on a real bike and pedal? No. no. Will I get on a stationary bike? Probably no. not. <laughs> Unless it's like, you know, the ones where you lean back. Sarah would totally do, like, if we could do, like, a fun tandem, like, tricycle sort of yeah. thing, we, we, we would we rock would that. We would definitely go back. We would rock that. Yeah. But we need the big <laughs> banana seat, because, you know. Like, with the armrest and the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is, this well, is common soul, what? 103. 103. And then you have to specify, where are the options here? Uh, so we have bougie and crisp. Bougie and crisp. Just look up if you don't know how to spell bougie. I didn't either. I had a look at that up. Hang on, I gotta relight this because I blew it out when I was laughing. Oh, I thought you blew it out on purpose. No, I laughed and I moved. And... Fair enough. Our cousin is move uh, closed down our house today and is moving to Rochester from Long Island. And his uh, gr longtime girlfriend is probably the single coolest person you'll ever meet. And she's like, I like to go kayaking. I'm like, I do too, but I'm not in shape. So I need to get in shape so I can go kayaking with her. I would do so it. I would try it. I love water. No, I would buy a kayak, though, and go. I will not buy a kayak, but I will go. Like, if she lets me store it at her house, I would definitely do it. I will not do the, um, the, pa was it the paddle board where you stand and you, like, push yourself? I don't want to do that. I don't have the core strength for that. It hurts when you fall. Yeah. Um, so we're doing... Oh, are we keeping with the theme? We kept with the theme. All right, so you get, you get your theme. syrups, right? Just stay stay on this path that we're on. You get your syrups, and then you want, like, a little coffee station. Look super cute for all your parties and events and just life, because I just like feeling like I have my stuff pulled together. Hi, When you did master the tricycle today, she tried to show me, which was cute. Okay, so... What a cute set here. This is what, what do they call this? A five piece set because it has the top? I don't know. Anyways. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six because it's spoon. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> I don't think get, that's right. You get your little sugar container here. You get this for like all your, um, you know, your sweeteners, your stevia, your splendas, all that sort of stuff. You put your creamer in here. Get your little spoon for dishing out the the sugar. Words, not my friend. Um, all of these are ceramic. All of these are dishwasher Dolomite. safe. It says ceramic is dishwasher safe and microwave safe. Okay, well, okay. Well, I'm just reading what it says. I don't know why you would put these in the microwave. Well, maybe you like warm cream. Maybe. I just learned that I don't think it, I'd put my sugar in there. How easy it is to make your own butter, and I think we need to do that, by the way. Do you have to get one of those things? No, you, <laughs> you don't have to churn it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can do it with your mixer, your KitchenAid. Oh. And it's just, you take heavy cream, pour it into the mixer, and then add salt, and let it roll. Really? Yeah, that's it. I know. Can we do a butter sculpture, then, if we do that? I could do that. I can get behind this. I might, maybe we can, I might maybe we can get entered in this state fair. <laughs> Our state fair is the best state fair. Is that the words? Maybe. I don't know. Okay. So anyways. We do have a pretty good state fair. We do. I haven't gone in years. I went last year because I wanted to see Nellie. Nellie. It's getting hot in her. Okay. Oh, I was the oldest person there and that like weirded me out. That like they, who? Yeah. How do the kids know about Nellie? Thank you. So Carmen and I were like, "How are we the oldest ones here?" But kids know about Nellie. Mm. He made a comeback. 
All right, so Hi, Tina. such a cute set. Hey, Tina. Um, this is Common Soul 104. 104. And then, like I said, you get like your your sampler of the coffee syrups, which it's a it's not a small size sampler. Mm -hmm. There's 12.7 fluid ounces in each of the bottles, and you get three of them. So you get your 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 flavor syrups. You set this up. You have your whole coffee station set. You're good to go for like if you're doing a Halloween party, um, any sort of Fall harvest gathering, life, Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. Christmas, Girls' Night, New Year's, Hanukkah, Book Club, Just Because, Friendsgiving. Oh, Friendsgiving is so much fun. And like now, like what people are doing at Christmas time, they're doing a cookie trade party. I love that. I'm going to, again, I have not been invited in the last couple of years. So, well, we I have to ask this. if you can come with me because you technically are like, Part of our neighborhood yeah so and i feel like, like the answer is like gonna be me. yes so no pressure if anybody in there is watching um <laughs> what is it the carly's house she likes me. she likes you so anyways uh we're gonna be doing another wreath making party it was fun last year i can't wait okay actually anywho all like you need one of these i don't think Common my mom doesn't like me 104 <laughs> I know. Sarah, I Sarah Lauren's <laughs> porch, and I waved to everyone to say good morning. And hi. Sarah's like part of the community. So is mom, it, apparently. Did the guy tell you? Yeah. About, yeah. Yeah. So the guy across the street, he actually thought I lived here. And so a couple months ago, we were talking out by my car when I left here one night, uh -huh. like directly across from the three kids. Uh -huh. And um, he's like, oh, I thought you lived here. I was like, you know, it feels like it sometimes. <laughs> All right. So let's say you are. No, I'm not putting out the fancy sugars. You can have regular sugar. Can yeah. I? Well, something a little bit smaller, a little bit more compact. This is going to be your set. So this one, you get the cream, you get the sugar pot here with the spoon and the wooden board. So you don't get the extra little um, sweetener thing. Again, uh, let me get this thing out on that one. Okay. Just okay. Throw. These are it's dishwasher and microwave safe. Where'd it go? Down there. Okay. Hang on. Oh, I'm dead. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> These are so sweet, so cute. Um, again, I can see this, like, if you can't, ooh, this thing, right here. You know what's funny? So I am one of those people who has a coffee station on my counter, because that means more to me than, like, a mixer or anything. I still have a mixer, too, don't get me wrong. Or I actually use my A-frame like, shelf uh, for my coffee station. Cups and like all your stuffs. And you're like, because I have this guy in the corner of my counter. And I have like little, um, like a honey little dish in there and whatever. And I stick that sort of stuff on here. How sweet is that, right? So cute. Sorry, the spoon's catching on the frame. It's fine. There we go. Hey, Dawn. How are you? So such a cute, cute set here. Sorry, I should have not put the spoon out. It's fine. Got this. Hang on. I don't want to drop it. Can you grab the... Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> uh, such a cute set. This is common sold. I don't know. 105? 105. 105. It's been... I'm really hot today, guys. Yeah, I guess what you got to put on now. It is hot out. It, well, it's funny because it's relatively warm, right? And anywhere, like, in the warmer states, it's probably like, that's chilly. Um, but we've also been, like, 30 degrees almost And we've every also day. taken out our air conditioners and turned our heats on, so. Which one's first? Black? The black. I'm getting there. Hang on. My body hurts. Guys, did you see the picture of the Emporium? We did some. We're not a hundred percent done. We still want to work a little bit on it. Well, the arch has to be done. Oh my gosh, you could totally wear that. So if you do like the major at Christmas. <laughs> well, I mean, I can get you a goat. I know people with goats. I'd be the Virgin Mary. For one of the people. <laughs> All right. I, I don't remember. I'm so sorry. I'm a terrible Catholic. I don't remember who's in the manger. <laughs> Aside from baby Jesus. It would be Mary. I remember <laughs> the animals. literally the only female there. Was she? Aside from 
possibly the angel, if you want to say the angel was female. I don't know if the angel No, the angels female. are uh, unisex. They're non- they're not sex. <laughs> according to the Bible, so. Okay, yeah. There's three wise men. There's Joseph. There's Jesus. There's animals. And there's Mary. All right. Well, now I guess you're Mary. <laughs> okay. I've been, I've been wearing this around every day. Almost every day. For like, I don't even know. I've been wearing my one of these Mom, at don't least every day. your eyes at me. What? She's <laughs> rolling her eyes. This is now my new favorite thing. Because it is kind of, it's simple. It's not super huge. So I don't feel like I'm drowning in like, like cloth and stuff. You know how sometimes you're like, I can't do this. It's too much. It's yeah. too heavy. Not that at all. Just the right amount. I walked out today. This is literally how I went to work. I went to the bus stop. I know it's kind of funky with this. Whatever. Just deal. People, if you're going to judge you me, just get out of the here. other day. She had the camel one on with like this floral pattern and. Yeah, I didn't care. It worked. I liked it. And then leopard shoes, right? Yeah. Yeah. I almost wore leopard shoes today, too, but I was afraid it might be too much with my stripes. <laughs> like, if this, I, the other day, I did say, if this doesn't scream that I'm, like, a crazy mom of three, I don't know what does. Huh? Anyways, I love this because it is, it can be worn as a regular scarf. You just unbutton this, but it does come with the three buttons and two replacement buttons if you ever have any issues. These are 100% acrylic. That means they're machine washable. However, lay them flat to dry. You don't want to wreck your stuff and get all wonky donkey. So like my navy one, I literally just washed in the, in the washing machine, laid it flat to dry, good to go. Um, and I just, I switch these out. I wear them. I can wear it at work when I'm needing a little bit of a cover because it's a little bit chilly, but like I take it off. I can wear it outside. I wore, the, I threw this on instead of a jacket this morning, which this morning it was relatively cool. It was like 40 maybe degrees and I was standing at the bus stop just like this. I just think that it's so cute and fabulous and I just feel so fancy and I don't know. It's, Practical and beautiful. So this guy is Comet Sold 106. Okay. And then we are limited uh, in the gray. The gray is the most limited at the moment because we are. There's only two left of that. Yeah. And then only three of the camels. So. So. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> we're very limited <laughs> in general. Um, so this is the gray. The gray is like that nice charcoal. It has some black going through it. It has that camel tone also in there. And red. I would have said taupe to avoid it. <laughs> uh, again, these are all identical, but we broke out the black. So that way the black, because we figured that was just going to be easier to have a whole separate item. Because black is kind of like a staple. So you get a black and then maybe one of the plaids as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot to also mention. Um, on either side of this, they're just little tassels. They're just so nice and dainty and small. And nothing like crazy and in your face. Absolutely feels so super chic in this. I love it. This is the gray. And then I feel like I'm wearing Burberry when I'm in this next one. You look like you're in Burberry. I... <laughs> I love it too because um, it has black in it. So because of the color, but you do look like you're walking out of Starbucks on your way to the pumpkin patch too. Uh, yeah, but like you could wear this like with browns or blacks mm -hmm. or whatever you want. Because listen, guys, there are no rules, and anybody who tells you that there's rules, are they really your friends? Just get them out of your life. You don't need that. I've always mixed black and brown. I love that look. It's very equestrian. And like, so people in high school used to make fun of me for it. And guess what? It's back. Because I just got a black um, Sanderson sister apothecary shirt. Hey, that one that and um, they like did the bleach pots, so it's black and brown. Like tie dye look. I'm looking to see if one of these. What? One of these has like the straps undone. No. Oh, oh no. Anyway. I just feel like ready to go. Your whole look. You need one of those like brimmed hats. Yeah. Give me that guy right there. Brimmed hat. It is. So like now we're all set to go. And like, I don't know. I feel super like 
fancy and elegant. This is the way that it's going to be. So anyway, this is the camel. The camel has a little bit of yellow in it, some red, black. Um, just I love it. I can't even. I just don't even know. I have this one. I have black. I have navy. <laughs> um, I think mom has one in every color, literally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She got she got one finally in camel too. So guys, this these are common sold 107 and then you just specify if you want gray or camel and like we said they are super limited and I don't know that I can get any more at least this season. So, however, help us sell out because that same company just came out with some really nice stuff. Cars. Did you see the ones with like the ticking? I did. The white and black ticking? Yes, yes. I did. Oh man. It's good stuff. I almost sent that to you the other I think I did send it to you. Look, I love these sorts of things because then, like, it's... hey Shannon. Hey Shannon. I feel like these, these are like great accessories. That kind of switch up your outfits so you can have more of a basic. But you know what's really in right now? Those, um, they're almost like fanny packs, but they go over your shoulder. I love, I love those. We need to do that. I know. Trust me, I know. Maybe the next time you go with this company because they have some cute ones. They do have some really cute ones. They have ones with guitar straps Shops. where it's got like that embroidery so on cute. it. So cute. All right. So this guy is 107. Yes. Okay, last but not least. So, it is the end of season sale for these guys. We are extremely limited with these. And then we have some of our rain chimes left. Okay. Uh, and I think there's only one four foot left. Yeah. So, these are have all been discounted. The, um, these are, what do we call these ones? Oh, uh, they're just called Bell Steak. Bell Steak, okay. The other one is sold out. <laughs> okay. So, as of an hour ago, because I was like, wait, I want to have one. <laughs> we only had one left. She waited so patiently. Well, okay. I'm, like, what happened if I bought one and then they all sold out the next day? I would have felt terrible. I, I go through the same thing all the time. I'm like, <sighs> so I'm like, you know what? I will wait until it's like about to discount, and then that's when. So the uh because I bought all your other one offs of the other stuff for our gift I'm doing. Yeah, so it's a really good gift. It's a really good gift. So, anyways, all the outdoor um chimes are on sale. It's while quantities last. This is end of season sale, so when they're gone, they're gone. Uh we'll be coming to you with new stuff next spring. So um we are limited with these, and we do have some of the rain chimes left that you can hang from your gutters and houses. Um, we have eight foot and four foot. Just look at our website or our app. Uh, the, all the prices have been discounted, and you can see those live on there. This guy is... Common sold. Oh, sorry. 55 inches tall. 55 inches tall. It's Four and a 63 inches tall. Just so you can kind of get an idea. Like, if you push it into the dirt, then it would be. Yeah. Uh, and when you get it, so these come like, they're all kind of like this together for like shipping gotta purposes. Judge. You gotta judge it, okay? But the bell sound, can we just appreciate, it's, they're so pretty. It's such a pretty sound. I love the look of the bells. They just have that little mini cowbell-ish look. Mine has been sitting out all season since the spring. Um, it looks amazing so like it's I haven't done anything to it I just literally left it out I mean it's coming in for the winter but like I, I was just looking at it the other night and I'm like man these really did very well outside so this Do is a great those would be in the snow though I know but like I don't know if that might wreck it then well especially if the snow's sitting yeah yeah you want to go tap it right but um, I'm thinking these are great gift ideas. Like, you know somebody, and because of the price, like, grab it now, give it at Christmas time, um, or stock up for next next year, save it for Mother's Day gifts. Like she just said. Uh, this is Come and Sold 108. 108. Now, I want to go back to our new fall box, because a lot of you weren't here when we first started. We just finally got the fire under our you-know-whats, and we have created 
Our and themed box. Our first themed box, guys. Oh, wait, I forgot to grab the other That's one. That's fine, I got it. Thank you. So, these are our fall boxes. We have in here, you will get uh, the popcorn shop. Bourbon pecan popcorn, which is very, very delicious. Very addictive, by the way. Yes. Uh, you will also get one of these, they call them mini um, dough bowls, but this guy is eight inches, eight by about four inches wide. Pretty substantial in size. You will get the smaller version of the crisp autumn morning candle, which these are 100% soy. They're vegan, made in the USA. Okay. You will also get non-GMO. Non-GMO. You'll get a coffee tumbler, which is glass. There we go. Which is glass and it says for the love of coffee. It's clear, but we put the paper in there so you can see it nicely. It also has the wooden top. It comes with the straw. Um, there's a silicone around the top, so it's not just gonna like fly off. It's not just rusting on there. You then will have your choice. This is where you have to make a choice. You will have your choice of... She's nicer than I am. Because I said, you get what you get, right? I was like, no. Because I feel like people are either one or the other. I'm both. Yeah. So this guy is our white chocolate pumpkin skinny syrup for coffee. It's zero calories, zero sugar. This guy is 25.4 fluid ounces. You get this and you also get in here the pump so it's going to be easy to portion out. You know, you just kind of squeeze it into your cup. So you have your choice of the white chocolate pumpkin or the s'more and all and both of these are zero calories zero sugar these are the skinny coffee syrups um i'm just looking at it five milligrams of sodium they're not like crazy um made in the usa these are very great like they're just tasty they taste good they don't taste like um you know how sometimes they can taste like alcohol like you it tastes off they yeah. don't have that taste at all these are just very delicious. We've been ta uh, testing them now for a couple of weeks. They are aspartame free in case you're curious. That was something I wanted to make sure because that's a selling point for a lot of people. Yeah. So anyways, you have to make your choice. Either pumpkin or s'mores, what you'll indicate in there. Uh, these are limited. When the boxes are gone, they're gone. So we will not be redoing these. We will not be restocking these. Um, it just it's an $80 value. $80 value. Uh, when it's gone, it's gone. So this is common sold, I forget, 102? 101. 101. And then you have to specify if you want pumpkin or s'more. What a great gift I get. It really is a great gift. Now let's say you're into just a little little, little something. Oh, Show the little one? Yeah. Show them the trio. We got the time. We love coffee. We, we, we really do. So... This is our coffee syrup trio. This comes with vanilla, salted caramel. It says salted caramel salé. If somebody knows what salé means, let me know. And then this is mocha. Uh, hey Siri, what does salé mean in French? In French, Suleiman is Suleiman. No. No. Hey Siri, what does salé mean in French? In French, slay is faire périr. She's not We're understanding. Not I don't I don't know if it is French. I'm not a hundred percent. Because it says vanille. <laughs> Caramel salé. Mocha. <laughs> Anyways, you get the three bottles. Each bottle is twelve point seven fluid ounces. Um, you get this really cute little box here. This is gonna be perfect, like if you're the hostess with the mostest and you want to have like a little coffee station set up or if you're looking for like the perfect gift idea. Got it. We're good. Should have gone for the laptop, but that's all right. <laughs> Priorities, people. <laughs> coffee or, was more important. you know that one person who loves their flavored coffees, you think that this would be the perfect gift for them or a great host or hostess gift. It doesn't always have to be alcohol. These are pretty substantial in size, so if you want them just for yourself. Yeah. Here, let me pull them out so you can see what 12 points. Why don't you just hold up the one? It's well, right it's, not, it's, not the, it's not the same one. So, salted caramel swirl? Well, but 
It's it's different packaging. Oh, sorry. I don't still want to like same flavor, different packaging. Well, this one says Salé. The other one says Swirl. I'm wondering if Salé means Swirl. <laughs> anyway, you get all three in here. These are very decent size here. It's just a great little gift. This is Common Soul something. Uh, Common Soul 102. 102. I have an eyelash in my eye, but it's totally fine. We'll just let it go, okay? We'll just let it go. It means salt. Salt. Oh. All right. That's our story. We're sticking to it. That's all we got. In case you like listening to us banter and like chit chat all the time, feel free to look up our podcast. Did you see that I changed the thumbnail on it, Sarah? No. I did. To what? It's us now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> was it Only not us? No, it was just like copied unscripted. That's what it's called. Oh, so why did why were did you use the one from the wedding? No, mm -hmm. I used one that. Uh, we had created to promote the podcast. Oh, with the microphone? Mm -hmm. Okay. You know what, though? The, what were all those pictures that we took every, sing every single time we did a podcast? I don't know. Oh, those collecting? were, like, for each episode. Oh. But, like, the thumbnail for our, our whole okay. thing. Yes. So, like, we're legit, peeps. Like, we have 67 episodes. We're launching a mini-series. We're recording, actually, with, um, I'm very excited, um, I don't know if I should say it now or not. But anyways, we have a recording coming up in... Yeah, what day was that again? The 16th. Which is Monday. It's a Sunday. Sunday. So glad you're here to remind me because I was actually, I meant to text you earlier. What day is it so I can put on my calendar at home? Guess what this person bought that person? A planner. A planner. Guess what that person hasn't told this person yet? The dates to put in it. Listen, I got halfway there, right? We're halfway oh, there. Oh, man. Anyways, we're going to be launching this um, mini-series, and I'm so excited for it. So be on the lookout for that. But if, in case you're new to our podcast, just go to Spotify, Google, Amazon, iHeartRadio. You can look up Poppy Dunn Script. You have 67 episodes. Start from the beginning. Work your way up. It tells the story. <laughs> and a lot of in-between. <laughs> Uh, all right. One of the ones that we did, we named it Tilt a World because we made it back to the point, but uh, mm -hmm. took us a minute. It did like a whole hour. Yeah, sometimes we just ramble. That's what we're good at. All right. Is there something specific that you're looking for? No, I was trying to put this down. All right, <laughs> guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for hanging in there. We appreciate you. We love seeing you. We love chit chatting with you. We plan to be back on Sunday. I'll be here. Yeah. Sunday. Mm -hmm. the so. Ninth. The what? The ninth. The ninth. Guys, we're going to a Mom So Hard event on the 8th. I'm very excited. It's been a few years since we. Oh, and you know what we're doing on Sunday? What are we doing on Sunday? We are interviewing Miss Angela. Oh, yes. We were supposed to do it last week, but we got really caught up at the Emporium. And then by the time we unloaded the trucks, it was time for live. So we tried. Yeah. I'm very happy that the Emporium's mostly done. I now have to tackle that arch. And anyone who knows me knows that. We have to draw it first. That's <laughs> what we've learned. The problem is, is, like, so for something like that, I feel like. <sighs> She's like, oh, my God. <laughs> I can't. I can't, like. I don't know, I don't know how to, like, stop myself, because I want it to be, like, over the top, to match the over topness of our booth. But I, I think that's where we need to be different. I think we just need to make it really bright with lights, and kind of go with that, just because there's so much going on behind it. I know, but, like... It will take away from the rest of the experience. But will it? Maybe. Maybe not, though. We'll see. <laughs> what if it was, like, my homemade garland on steroids i can get behind that yeah no no the last time we made your homemade garland it was a 400 hundred dollar project 
But we went to the dollar store to do it. It was not. We didn't go to the dollar store, and it wasn't four hundred dollars because we had most of it the last time we made it. Well, yeah, from the first time. From we the made first it. time we made it. <laughs> it didn't fare well. We had to recreate it, but it was fine. Yeah. She has a vision, and I trust her. But we need to draw it so we know how to make it. Is what I've learned. Otherwise, we just sit there and bicker. Yeah. Or stare at each other with, like, very angry eyes. I just, like, have envisioned, like, I love all the, like, crazy pics and, like, the curly cues and the glitters and all that sort of stuff. Maybe even some feet. Oh, elf feet. I love elf feet coming out of the trees and everything. That's, like, my favorite thing. And then maybe we have some floating gifts in there. That's so much going on. <laughs> I can't stop myself. Going on Amazon tonight, guys. <laughs> all right. That's all we got. Thank you so much. We will.